So there's good news and bad news. Uh, good news is it is sunny and really nice out. The bad news is it is sunny and really nice out. When I parked down here yesterday, I had no signal, and the last I saw from the weather report was that it's just going to be cloudy and rainy this morning. So I didn't put my alarm on really early. I set the alarm for about 5, 5.30 I think. And the sun is hitting Loch Nagars. It looks stunning and amazing, and I wish I was up there already. It is what it is. Anyways, coffee's on, had a good night's sleep, and I'm just going to make up some breakfast, a pot of coffee, I'm gonna walk up now. myself sorted out and on our way up to the Loxton Gar now. And just as I started my walk, you can hear black grouse. I have to say, it's a little bit hard to just keep walking when you just pass by curlews in the field, dipper swimming down the river. This is so much. Red deer over here. Overwhelmed by wildlife. It is such a stunning morning. Quarter past seven, and I am 576 meters above sea level. It's not as impressive as it sounds. We started at like 200 or something down here. So. Probably one of the most frustrating things about hill walking is when you have to walk back down somewhere just to walk back up. I'm getting closer and you can kind of see now heading up there and this little pass. You go in between there and then climb up on the left where you see the snow. We get some good views of Loch Nagar there. Looks like we got messed up there already. Hopefully I can show you guys the view. Half of it anyways. <laughs> this is as good a place as any to have a cup of coffee and second breakfast. Uh, as you can see behind me here, probably can see 
The top of the hill is covered in mist right now. It may even come in here and cover me right here. So, I figured if I wait here, have a little break here, rest up, and then if it clears up, we'll head up there and scan that plateau. I really want to find dot rolls today, but there's also, you know, there's loads of mountain hairs here. Could be golden plover, could be snow buntings, ptarmigans are here, and obviously tons of red grouse on the way up. So I'm gonna make my way back down to where um, to where I just came up. If this doesn't, if this mist stays, I can always if I stay down there for a few hours, I can always come up if it clears later in the day. Oh, this is just stunning. I wouldn't mind a bird flying out here in this mist. So I'll get my camera and everything ready, and then we'll just sit here and enjoy the morning. Damn it! Just as I was getting the camera back, I'm gonna pour myself a cup of coffee. Ptarmigan comes flying right past here. Just landed down there. Looks like I'm gonna get covered in mist as well. That's all right though, I'm quite comfortable here. I'm not far from the path, I know exactly where I am, so I feel perfectly safe and I know where to go back um, and head down where I was earlier. Well, I'll sit here for a little bit and maybe ride it out, you never know, could be gone in a few minutes. It is 9 o'clock, I've been here for, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes or something like that. Had my second breakfast, had some coffee. Heard some ptarmigan, seen some ptarmigans fly by. Got my settings ready for, for flight action. But this mist has just been coming and going. Right now I can see the lock, but very often I can't even see down there. You see behind me now, it's pretty well covered up. And I finally have signal up here, so I checked the weather report, and it says for this morning, it's gonna be foggy up here. So, really kicking myself for not being up earlier. Um, it's really annoying, I could have been up here been up here for dawn you know and I've had a few hours up there but oh well nothing I can do about that now I had a thought to just sit tight here and try to photograph ptarmigan as occasionally they fly here but I've only had one two flights probably the same bird just flying back and forth in the 25 minutes I've been here so it's not very often it happens and as well, this mist is really kind of ruining my shot. I want the, you know, the clips in the background. So uh, the chances of both of them happening at the same time are slim. So I think the best thing I can do, head back down and focus on some of the stuff down there. Try and crawl a little bit closer, see if we can get some photos of them as well.
It looks like the top is starting to clear up. It certainly is a lot clearer down here.